Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we began our exploration into the Forbidden Woods in search of a little Korok named Macker who seems to be a troublemaker. I don't know why I'm searching for this troublemaker because he is not my responsibility. It is not like he is my child or anything. Why, 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 why do they treat me like his babysitter? Why do I need to actually ha Okay, so let's go ahead and exit this mid-boss room. That is now what this room is officially called. What that room is officially called. The mid-boss room. And welcome to the P-Hat room. A room that I really hate. Oh, I forgot. Actually, now what you can do is use the boomerang to get rid of their, uh... I can't say that they're wings, because they're not wings. They're just weird-looking things that help them to fly. Oops. We still need the grappling hook, so... At this point, I don't think I need the Wind Waker in this temple. Not a temple, a dungeon. Sorry, I'm so used to, uh... Dungeons being temples in the legend- Ah! <laughs> you pee hat I'll get you. You're such a pee hat mm. You big bully! So I killed him. Okay. Now where were we, Branch? I was using my grappling hook to climb. What are those things dangling down from those vines? This place is so weird. It's just weird. That's all I can say. Oops. There you go. There's that yellow icon I was looking for. That's what I needed. Whoa. That was quite the swing. <laughs> Alright. Um. Yeah. That arm was gonna move. I was gonna jump, but I knew. I knew that that arm was going to want... That arm wants me to fall. So the moment I jumped, I knew that it would move its arm upward. It move itself upward because it's an arm. Right? You get it? Good. Let's open this treasure chest. Joy pendant? Alright! It. I love it when I'm right. Don't you love it when... <laughs> no. I, I wasn't gonna say, don't you love it when you're right. I was gonna say, don't you love it when I'm right. Because it's fun when I'm right. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, so that is pretty much all that we need to get in this room according to our compass, which reveals the location of treasure chests within the room. But as you can see, there is that door over there that is blocked by two eyes. There is no uh, nut here that we can throw at them. But thankfully, now that we have our boomerang, it'll be a lot easier to get rid of those plants, those ridiculous looking plants. Those plants, them. Let's clear this room of these vines. Those things look painful to touch, and we need to fly across the room, so let's rid ourselves of any um, dangerous situations by getting rid of these things. I think that's it, really. There's a treasure chest down there, according to my compass. Hey, I'm actually paying attention to my compass. What's wrong with me? Oh, no! No, 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 no! Please! Oh, have mercy. Okay. Sorry. Fast forward, now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Vine Room. You've heard of the Mid-Boss Room, you've heard of the P-Hat Room. Welcome to the Vine Room. And for some reason, these vines grew back. It's, uh, it's one of the many wonders of the Legend of Zelda games. Once you get rid of something, it will come back once you switch rooms. Ha! Oh, freaky. Okay. Now I can get that treasure chest, which I believe is just another joy pendant. Another useless. Not really useless. And it is another joy pendant. Joy pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy. I read that already. Okay. Now this is very important. Pay very close attention. What you want to do is get rid of the arms that are actually holding on to that big flower over there. Watch what'll happen. It's pretty cool. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Aren't you glad that you saw that? Aren't you glad that before you die, you got to see that wondrous, a uh, wondrous thing? Whatever. Okay. It's pretty safe to jump down, I believe. Yeah. You see, when the game knows that you're supposed to make big jumps like that, it says, hey, I'll have mercy on you. I won't let you get hurt. Don't worry. Don't worry one bit. Just jump. Just jump. Okay. So, you can get back up there. Don't worry. There's no ladder. There's no vine to climb or anything. But all you need to do is use your 
Deku Leaf to propel that thing over there. It's kind of like a switch. And then you can use your Deku Tree to uh, fly back up there. Hey, I'm actually moving through this dungeon at a decent rate. But I said that already, so... What am I doing? <laughs> and those things slowly descend down. Take that, you pee hat. Use your boomerang to take care of those things in the way. I don't even know what they're called. All I know is that they're burdens. Because just like burdens in the heart, they weigh you down. They slow down your progress in life. And... Yeah, that's, that's really it. So... See those arms extending from the ground? You do not want those to touch you. I mean, you... What I thought at first was that they just slowed you down and made it difficult to fight enemies, but it turns out that they actually suck your magic, so you don't want that, do you? I know I don't want that, so... Get those things out of the way. How many times have I said so in this video? How many times have I said so in the last video? I mean, I was just thinking right after I ended the video, actually while I was working on the video. How many times do I say so? Is it annoying? Is it ridiculous? I think it might get annoying. I hope you guys don't find it annoying, excuse me. So make your way down here, and... Yeah, there's a bomb plant over there. So those really thick planks of wood blocking the way, just use the bomb plant to... Blow them up! Blow- Ah! Oh, ouch! Ouch, poor Link. He took one to the face. I think he took a- He had a pretty bad burn from that. Okay. I'll just throw it from here. I'll just throw it on top of this vile plume. Because that's what it is, right? It's a vile plume. But before I go there, I don't even know why I blew that up yet. I was supposed to go here first. Hey, Octorok. You're gonna spit at me? Because I'm going to use my shield to deflect your rock and hit you on the face. You think I'm not smart enough to do that? You Octorok. Now let's go ahead and give it up for the Vile Plume for allowing us to ride on top of its head and... Get across this area. Thank you, Vile Plume. Thank you very much. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I could use the boomerang to take care of the Octoroks. I gotta stop saying take care. To defeat the Octoroks. Defeat, because enemies need to be defeated. Life lesson. Enemies need to be defeated. No. I'm just kidding. That's not a good life lesson. I believe, love your enemies. That's what the Bible says. Love your enemies. But this is a, you know, a video game. So, <laughs> you have to defeat your enemies. <laughs> I'm confusing you, aren't I? I'm so sorry! In here, we find a room that is shaded very similar to a mid-boss room, but don't be fooled, it is not a mid-boss room because there is no mid-boss, but you can see that there is that big key that we'll need to um, access the boss room, so that's pretty important. It seems like rooms shaded with this really blue-purple tint are pretty important, so anyway, what you want to do in this room is climb on top of this big tree stump, I guess, so that you can get a good look at all the switches, take your aim, and throw your boomerang. Because that's how it's done, son. That's how it's done, son. Done, daughter. I don't know. That's how it's... Yeah. <laughs> don't you think that's a very nice looking chest? I mean, I think I, I said that earlier, but wouldn't you want to have that in your master bedroom? It's pretty nice. Okay. And here we go. Moblins. Moblin time. Come here, ya piggies. These moblins are really fun to fight, but at the same time, I've been finding them to be rather annoying. During my practice run, I was having a hard time with these guys, and they're not even that hard. I don't, I don't know why, but what you can do is you can use your boomerang to... Well... Yeah, you can use your boomerang to stun them, and then it'll be easier to hit them with your sword. But that's just one way of going about it. There are actually many, many ways of fighting moblins. Many of which are very fun. So, I mean, you could use your- Oh, wow. These moblins are buff. Do you work out? Do you lift? Do you even lift a moblin? Because you, you took a really hard swing at me. Very inconsiderate. <laughs> During my practice run, one of the moblins actually killed his partner. These guys need to be more careful when fighting. I mean, I know it gets exciting, man. I know it's exciting to fight Link, the hero, but you gotta be more careful. Be more considerate of those around you. Sheesh. Now, I know that there is something I still have to do. 
Oh, actually, no. There's there's not something I have to do to open that door. What I actually need to do is just go to that door instead. Pfft. Of course. There, there it is. I was looking for a branch. I, you know, sometimes the branches don't reveal themselves unless you switch to first-person view. That's how they are. They're kind of shy sometimes. They're like... They say, I'm, I'm not going to reveal myself to you unless you switch to first-person mode. Well, the good news is we are actually almost done with this dungeon. For those of you that are sick of this dungeon already. Unless you're just sick of me in general. I won't be going anywhere. I'll be here for a while with this series. So, Am I being too hard on myself? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, self. Whoa! Sometimes these trues surprise me. They're so surprising. They're so shocking. I'm gonna use my boomerang to get rid of these guys, because they're not annoying, but when I first saw them, actually, they kind of grossed me out. I easily get grossed out by enemies in the Legend of Zelda games. I mean, when I was younger, I was pretty freaked out by the Redeads in Ocarina of Time, but, you know, I'm not so freaked anymore. But I know that in general, they're pretty freaked. And I know that everyone says this, but why was Ocarina of Time rated E for everyone? Think about it. You have the Redeads, you have the dark themes. Well, Ocarina of Time wasn't as dark as like Majora's Mask or Twilight Princess, but and then you have that weird thing in the in the I think it's underneath the well or in the graveyard. I, I forgot where, but it's that weird looking creature that has arms extending throughout the room and then when it grabs you, it slowly moves itself towards you and then it takes a bite out of your head. See, it doesn't sound like something that's for kids, right? Oh, Fun fact, boomerangs are a one-hit kill, or serve as a one-hit kill item against Deku, uh, Deku Babas. Or Deku plants, whatever you want to call them. Whoa, P-Hat. See that dodge? Link has skill. I don't have skill, it's Link. It's all Link. So let's move behind here. Now I'm going to crawl into this little area to show you something. Something very fascinating. Something so unique you have not seen it before. I'm just kidding, you've seen it before. It's another chest with a plant on top of it. One of those eye plant things. But unfortunately, even though you can normally take them out with your boomerang, because this, su this is such an enclosed room, you will not be able to get it to reveal its eye while you're inside the room. But there is still a way to get that treasure chest. I don't think the game developers would have put a treasure chest there if you couldn't get it. Because that's kind of jerkish. That's kind of mean. And Nintendo are nice people, aren't they? Well, for the most part, they're nice people. I mean, they're pretty much my favorite video game company. I mean, their policies are pretty fair for the most part. It's just that lately, you know, I'm sure that you guys have heard uh, around a month ago, their policy regarding uh, Let's Playing. I know that a bunch of people make money from Let's Playing, and, you know, I respect them because video editing... You know, now that I'm actually into Let's Playing and just making videos in general, I know that it takes a lot of time to get a video just right, to uh, make sure that it's of high quality, that it's entertaining for one, and you know, I, I believe that it's fair that people make money off of this, but at the same time, I understand that video games and the content within those video games, including the music, the character models, all belong to Nintendo, are their intellectual property, so at the same time, it's not unfair for them to go ahead and make those monetary claims on those videos. But, you know, my, my take on it is, why do you have to do it, Nintendo? I mean, why do you have to do it? You're already making a lot of money. So, and, and this is their hard work, as in YouTubers' hard work. So, I mean, it's hard to say my stance on exactly, um, wait. Um, how am I gonna go about this? Okay, I'll just do this. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, anyway, what I was saying was that Nintendo can't be bashed. I mean, it is their property. I don't hate them. I, I believe that it's fair for them. They have those rights, but, you know, I, I'd say why not let people make money off of their hard work, you know? And at the same time, they are giving them, what's it called, advertising in a way, so why not, why not. But enough of that, you know, everyone has their own opinion. I don't hate Nintendo, that's all I want to get across. So, 
Thanks, Nintendo, for making great games. You're cool. You guys are cool. You guys are cool guys. You know? Pretty cool guys. And that didn't work again. I was hoping that it was just me uh, messing up the jump last time, but apparently I just need to go about a different way. Deku Baba. No, Boko Baba. Baba Plant. What, what was it called? I forgot. There you go. I apologize for that. Um, for me taking a long time to do just that. But anyway, I'm gonna stop apologizing so much. Why do I need to apologize? No one's perfect, but well, I still feel the need to apologize anyway. <laughs> Never mind. I'm so sorry. But in here we have a treasure chest, so. Uh, it's just like the last episode, or last few episodes. Um, I, I said treasure chest again, when it's actually a treasure chart. Could you imagine a treasure chest being inside a treasure chest? Treasure chestception? There you go, that's what it's called. To go ahead and be like everyone else on YouTube and the internet and add adception at the end of words to make it sound like inception. Yeah. Okay, well, now that we've done that, we can leave this room now. <laughs> I'm sick of this room. I'm sick of this dungeon. I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Um, now, let me think. Let me think. There is another treasure chest over there. Um, yeah, there is it. Okay, there we go. Let's just jump on Vile Plume here. It's a good thing that the vines regrow when you move to a different room and then grab Vile Plume's head again. Wait, where's Vile Plume? Where's his body? There's a bald vile plume running around somewhere. Somewhere. A very large vile plume at that. Excuse me, guys, I'm gonna need to take care of you. Or not. I could just. Spin attack! Spin attack equals loud control stick sounds in the microphone. That's all it is. Nice, we are very close. We are very close, guys, so. Do not. Do not fret. We are almost done with this dungeon. So, I'd say that this took around a good 45 minutes, right? I mean, not so bad, not so bad. For a dungeon, I mean. When you're playing Zelda, time goes by pretty quickly, and at least it's not an hour. At least it's not an hour. Oh, no. Trapped. What do I do? Oh, no. There are two things, and they're coming straight towards me. Spin attack. Oh. Okay, you just do that to me. No, no more pooping out burdens. Sweet, we have another treasure chest here. Obvious, me stating the obvious again. What is it? A joy pendant? Really? Why does- why does it seem like this game adds a lot of value, or places a lot of value on joy pendants? I mean, I know that you can hand them over to Miss Marie for... I don't know, something. But they- they're not that valuable. Okay. Okay. Um... I missed something. Oh, okay, now I remember. Um, I will be right back. Okay, hello again, guys. It's good to see you. What I forgot was, there is another treasure chart that you can get in this dungeon. And I want to get as many items as I can in this game. I'm not going to go ahead and say that this will be a 100% run. I will try my hardest. But I just don't want to make any promises because I don't want to fail you guys. I don't want to fail you guys. But anyway, what you want to do is head back to the second room of this dungeon. The, the, the second room and make your way to the top. And don't be fooled, there are two inside. And they will jump at you. You know what you want to do is, when you hold L, actually make sure that you're L targeting. <laughs> Just a obvious tip. And another joy pendant. Man. Sometimes it seems like the game is placing much importance on, on joy pendants, because they're, you know, in treasure chests that are revealed after you defeat enemies and stuff, but then again, sometimes you just find them randomly in jars, and then you're like, okay, maybe this isn't as valuable as I thought it was. I don't know, you, you just know how... Depending on how you get a certain item, you know how important it is. 
and in here is treasure chart number one, I believe. I'm not sure, I don't even know why it's so important to name or give the treasure charts numbers as not even the game itself gives it a number, it just says, hey, you got a treasure chart, so, yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to head and conclude this episode right here. Right here, because I believe that this is good enough. It's good enough, right? And we're actually about, right about to, uh, take, uh, to visit the boss, I mean. We are about to find Macker, actually, so, but I don't want this episode to run over, so I will go ahead and see you guys in the next episode. So if you like this video, please go ahead and click like or share, and if you would like to see more from me and more of this series, feel free to subscribe. So thank you very much for your time. I will see you guys later. Take care.